All right, my friends, we are delving into the Kingdom Arena today with our friend Elder Fairy. That is right. We got three comp teams for you, and we're going to break it down for you in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question or comment, do let me know because I love to hear from you. And feel free to join us in our amazing Discord server, my friends. Now, with that, we got three teams, like I said, that we're going to give you here today an attack team, a more mid rangey team, and a defensive play as well as we get engaged on the attacking side of pvp additionally we'll give you some ideas and some swaps to help you be successful with these different teams and we'll go from there now down below you'll find those in today's timestamps and you can find the teams that you're looking for specifically to aid you in your pvp kingdom arena journey here all right so let's get into it with elder fairy this again is the latest and greatest uh, super epic cookie here we've broken down the toppings of biscuit guides you can check those out down below we've also done the meta analysis as well for March here, you can check that out. However, let's get into it and talk first and foremost about our attack team. So a couple things about our attack team. This one is predicated on a creme brulee, um, big powerful burst damage. Now, one of the things that you can do a little bit differently here in the swap is instead of White Lily, you could go something like Frost Queen or another heavy hitter in terms of attack um, to get you through. You could also enable your friend Black um, Black Pearl here um, for that breakthrough in the damage resist and those kinds of things as well. Um, in terms of our toppings, again, we got all the guides available to you. However, primarily you're going to be on attack, uh, dealing lots and lots of damage. Um, and in terms of the treasures here, we're definitely going to want to be on attack and cooldown. So Dream Conductor's Whistle, you can go Old Pilgrim, Sleepyhead Jelly Watch, some other alternative pieces for you too to keep in mind. Um, that may work well in terms of uh, options here. Could be robes. Um, if you want a little bit more defense survivability, you can also go with Disciples Magic Scroll. You could go Grim Looking Sigh for that um, crit. And then additionally, Squishy Jelly Watch if you want a better blend here in terms of the cooldown versus the lovely, lovely uh, Sleepyheads Jelly Watch. We lose 5%, we'll keep our 5%, but we'll pop this one back in there for that additional attack because that is really what we're focused on. Now, again, in terms of our toppings, we're on defense here. You can also go on cooldown. I've seen that as well. Um, here, attack, here we're on attack, here we're on attack, and then here we're on cooldown. Now, again, all the guides are available to you on these ones with some different options, tips and tricks um, that you can consider like those that we just covered. Now I'm running these two because they pair well with Elder Fairy's uh, unique skill set as well, which is why we're doing that. But again, some options, you could flip in uh, Frost Queen, you could flip in Black Pearl. So we want to call those out. So that is our attack team. Let's go ahead and run this one here for you um, and see how it goes. We're going to go against this one. And we'll get into it here. We don't have the fast battles, which is great at Elite here. So you can see exactly how we're going to get through, how these teams are going to work out. Now, the biggest thing here is being able to keep that creme brulee alive so you can get lots and lots of damage in. Um, you can see how my team's holding up here fairly well. Um, again, we did have a much higher level uh, in terms of our power, which helps in this lineup. And there we go. We'll get through the next one as well, and then we'll see if we can find a little bit more higher-powered team for our attack team here. Here we go. Now, Creme Brulee versus Creme Brulee. A little bit more survivability on their Creme Brulee, so we'll see if we get enough burst damage to take that thing down, which is exactly what we want to get to. Now, there's Survive. There, we got it. And here we go. Moving on up, my friends. Well done, well done. All right, so let's find one more attack group. We got a big burst one right here. Let's go for it. Now they have no healers, but they do got a lot of attack power here. And they're at 49 as well. Woo, got through, got through. So that is our attack team once again. 
um, for our Elder Fairy grouping here in Cookie Run. Uh, let's go ahead and delve into the next one. So let's go ahead. So again, this is the first of the three that we're going to cover. The second one here is probably closer to a more meta-esque team, uh, a little bit more of a mid-range team. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to lose a little bit more of that attack power. We're going to gain a little bit more of that survivability and find kind of that balance in between here. So what we've done is we've swapped in Hollyberry. We've also swapped in Frost Queen. Again, the Frost Queen is going to slow down our opponents, add a little bit more survivability. Now, one of the things that you got to pay attention to is if your opponents are running Ice Cold Yeti, we talked about that defense play a little bit more. Um, you're going to want to actually switch in Golden Cheese as an example. Um, again, you could also use uh, Black Pearl to kind of cut through things um, if you need to as an additional option here. So giving you some other ideas um, and alternative swaps, certainly you can lean in on the attack one as well. Uh, here again, we are going to be focused on attack and cooldown. So we're going to stick with what we had before. Um, you can swap in um, again for more survivability if you want to. Disciples Magic Scroll, that is going to add to that defensive value of this particular team and that survivability. That might be a nice option for you um, as well. This one you're not going to want to run robes with, uh, but... <clears throat> Those are some options there available to you. Now, in terms of the topping, same thing as before. You can actually go cool down and cool down here, um, but we are going to be on uh, Solid Almond. And then again, you can consider those resonant ones where it makes sense. We're on attack here. We're on attack here. Um, we can switch over here and go with our preset um, and then cool down here for Snapdragon. So again, this is more of that mid-range. It's going to give you the upside and the attack. Um, not quite as bursty as damagey as the last one, but also a little bit more survivability when it comes to Elder Fairy and Hollyberry here um, with this team. And additionally, you can see that drop by about 200 power level for my grouping here um, as an example as well. So let's go ahead. We're going to run through this um, on a couple ones here. Here is the Yeti. So that is exactly where you'd flip into the Golden Cheese. Um, as an example, we'll go against these two first, uh, maybe these three first, <clears throat> and go for that. All right. Here we go, my friends. So you can see lots of defensive power here with this team now. Still getting great damage in, as you can see. Elder Fairy versus the team. And there we go. So the double support up front really kind of can help. Um, again, as you can see, not only for that survivability, but splitting the attack so that all the focus isn't necessarily on Elder Fairy there. This one's a lot closer in terms of power level, so let's go for it here. They're also running the double defense play up front. And they are 16. So here we go. Now here again, we're going to be able to take advantage. We took out their attacker. And let's get that damage in here. There we go. So you can see that additional survivability making a difference even for our opponent there. However, our powerful nukers between uh, Frost Queen and White Lily were able to overcome and knock them out from behind. All right, there we go onwards and upwards we like to see that elite four my friends all right so let's go for one other big hitter here this one and this time they have a lot higher power level than us let's go into it there and see how it goes my friends if we can take these things down quickly um that's going to be a nice advantage we do have again some of that defensive ability um to kind of offset our opponents here there we go cutting right through and leaving golden cheese left. All right, are we gonna be able to get this one here before it comes back? We'll see. Uh, nope, we did not. We got this, my friends. Never fear. We're good and here. All right, look at that, top 40,000. All right, those are our three matches there with our mid-range. Uh, team, as I said, let's get back into it here. Oop, I always click the wrong one, back into attackers. Um, so this again gives you a little bit more survivability. You can see that damage still being very, very heavy um, and cutting through our opponent's backline and then setting this up nicely 
Um, again, that survivability making a big difference and some of that boost here for this particular team. Now we're on to our third and final team here for Elder Fairy. This one is going to be our defensive team. So again, this is predicated really on these three defenders and survivability. We still have White Lily in here as our option, um, and we're still focused on that cooldown and attack. Now, again, one of the differences here that you can certainly use is in the toppings we can go on the cooldowns here um, if you wanted to versus the more survivability with the solid almonds so we like to call that out we're going to stay on attack and then we're going to stay on cooldown here um, again with everything some swaps that you could consider you could try creme brulee you could try um, the uh, gc there golden cheese you could go with our frost queen all a bunch of things and then additionally some ideas here in terms of the swaps you could go with a little bit more of the defensive side of the house if you wanted to you could go with flamingo actually i'm um, giving your front liners a little bit more beefiness to them if you wanted to however we're going to stay on that attack um, and cool down for this particular team so 1.6 million as you can see a huge huge drop relative to the other ones because it is a little bit more defense oriented and a little bit more survive oriented we're gonna go ahead here and take on this team right here so that shield smash is great we can see because of only the one attacker with white lily we get that additional survivability there with financier cookie again make sure that you have your magic candy as elevated as possible there um for financier at least 10 um to take advantage of that particular cookie um and again everything really revolving around our white lily here we go in terms of kind of a mirror match a little closer we're on the defensive they're a little bit more on the attack side let's go for it against this one this should be a nice matchup and lineup for us here um, and give you a good perspective of how these things could shake out. There we go, there we go. Again, cutting through it nicely there for us. Taking tons and tons of damage, but being able to negate that with the power of this defense team. Down to the final minute, my friends, and there we go. You have it. Ha, no All right, way. into the top 30,000. Let's go for one more here. We'll go ahead and find this one. So this one is a little bit more, again, of a more meta-esque featured team. Um, we got our defense against a more attack-oriented team here. Um, one of the ideas that you could also do instead of your swaps um, you could put in Icicle Yeti as an example if you do run into the Frost Queen like this to kind of counteract some of these things. Here we're running into a little bit of a challenge um, just straight up due to their damage. However, again, we are currently ahead of our opponent. We need to get that damage in, that survivability. Oh no, we lost our main damage dealer. This is going to be a potential problem for us now. White Lily was unable to survive. We're gonna run into an issue. Can we actually just stay alive now? And run this one out. We'll find out here shortly. I think it's in trouble. Uh-oh, we're still alive actually. Uh-oh, we turned it around. We got the White Lily. Defense versus defense, my friends. <gasps> we did it. We got Eat Socks. Look at that. Turning it around. What a battle. What a battle to conclude for our defense team. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I hope you do as well. So with that, my friends, we covered off on all of our lovely, lovely Elder Fairy teams here today. We did an attack team. We did a mid-range team. Again, the blend between the attack and the defense team, which is right here as well. We gave you some ideas on swaps between Golden Cheese, Black Pearl, Frost Queen, Ice Glietti, um, Crime Brulee, and a host of other things that you can consider into each of these groupings and pairings, along with the treasures and toppings. Now, once again, for everything else, if you still got questions, if you got comments, let me know. I'd love to hear from you, and feel free to join us in the Discord server, my friends. These are three great teams for you with Elder Fairy to help you succeed. As you could see, even myself, 
going up the ladder here today and doing very, very well in terms of our PVP here. Now you have additional information and details available to you here on the channel. If you want to check out all the stuff around Elder Fairy, the toppings and the biscuits and the Kingdom Arena meta, we'll make sure that is available to you down below. And obviously it's here for you in the know on the channel. With that, thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. On top of that, my friends, as always, thank you to all of our members. I appreciate that support. Uh, something there for everyone there. We got memberships available to you along with our affiliate links. And don't forget our socials. At me, chat me, as we like to say, stay connected. See you in the Discord server as well. I wish you the best of luck collecting those trophies, climbing the Kingdom Arena into Elite and beyond. And we'll see you out there, my friends. Keep on running.